Distinguished Principal, Honorable Director for Advancement and Dean Administration, Respected Head of the Departments, Teachers and all my dear friends, a very good morning to one and all. I, Seti Akash, 4th B.Tech Mechanical Engineering, standing in front of you to speak a few words on this auspicious occasion of Independence Day. Firstly, I wish everyone a happy 73rd Independence Day. This is a happy and emotional day for all children of Mother India, whether living at home or abroad. Indians can be very different in their tastes and habits, but Indians share the same dreams. The dreams were for a free India before independence. Today, the dreams are for accelerated development and for effective and transparent governance. As we stand on the verge of celebrating our 73rd Independence Day, we look back and reflect on how things have turned out over the last seven decades. We have come a long way from 1947, having freed ourselves from the clutches of the British, from becoming the largest democracy of the world, to launching the Mangalyan and Chandrayaan. India has added many feathers to its cap, thus marking its journey towards prosperity, peace and progress. This is a special day when we remember the great sacrifices of Jhansi Kirani Lakshmi Bai, Uyalawada Narsimha Reddy, Mangal Pandey, Sardar Bhagat Singh, and father of our nation, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhiji, and other brave freedom fighters for their unforgettable contribution in securing freedom for the nation. 70 years of Indian independence is a mixture of progress, troubles, tribulations. In spite of being called a country of illiterates by the British, our country emerged like a phoenix from ashes, from exploited, underdeveloped, beaten down economic zero to become a hero in every aspect, to be its social, economic, political and scientific development. We have today one of the fastest growing economies in the world. It's a dream of every Indian to achieve 5 trillion US dollar by 2024. The scientists and scholars across the world have applauded Indian ethics and knowledge tradition. As quoted by Mark Twain, well-known American author, I quote, India is the cradle of the human race, the birthplace of human speech, the mother of history, the grandmother of legend, and the great-grandmother of tradition. Our most valuable and most instructive materials in the history of man are treasured up in India only. We are indeed privileged to be Indians. Let me narrate a story. A man was selling balloons at a fair in a tribal village. He had balloons of different colors. To attract the attention of people, he would release a gas-filled balloon in the air. When children saw the balloon go up, they would jump with joy and rush to buy one. The balloon man was busy in attracting his little customers when he felt someone pulling his kurta. He turned around and saw a dark tribal boy asking him, Chachu, if you, realize a, if you release a black balloon, would that also fly high? For a moment, the balloon man was taken aback. Why is this little boy asking such a question? His eyes fell on the dark skin of the boy, and in a flicker of a moment, the balloon man realized the matter. With a lot of affection, he moved his hand on the head of the little boy and replied gently, Son, it is not the color of the balloon, it is what's inside it that makes it go up. I repeat, Son, it is not the color of the balloon, it is what inside it that makes it go up. Such is the character of our nation. We are multicultural, religious, yet we have something great within us that makes us a great nation. India is not a country or a mass of land. It is Dharma's abode. It is our land of great spiritual vibrations made up of saints, holy men of all faiths. This makes our nation so remarkable. We are proud of this. Friends, despite of all this success, there is a sense of disappointment. Issues like poverty, illiteracy, corruption, rising extremism, terrorism, energy and water crisis, to mention a few, leave a sense of disappointment. Let us realize that these issues are not unique to India. Every nation has them. Are you aware, despite gaining independence in 1776, around 20% of American population 
has been below poverty line. Our country, which has been independent just 70 years ago, had done remarkably well in comparison. Just as a path to success is hidden by potholes and pitfalls, just as lush green fields have hidden parasitic weeds, our journey too has its problem. These issues we face are just the same. The gentle push, the angry voice, the change makers, the burden bearers, all these adjectives fit the context perfectly when we talk about the youth of this country. We, the youth of the nation, have taken the modern India by strong. We want to be everything for the nation. We fight for our rights and everybody else. We support the right and protest against the wrong. We figure out the good and the bad and choose our roles accordingly. This can happen only if experienced backers. I can proudly say that the VNR Vignan Jyoti management support is invaluable. We are said to have hot blood and when it gets stirred up, we can fight any forces, be it corruption, terrorism or the aliens. We want the country to be happy and prosperous. An Indian is sick of being the victim all the time. The youth is now here to prove that any individual can become aggressive if poked for too long. Without working hard, nothing can be achieved. There is a famous Sanskrit shloka. Kaktalya vat pratam drishtitavi nithim agratha nasvayam daivam ade purushatam apekshate. Which means, even if by sheer luck a treasure is lying in front, destiny doesn't give it in hand. Some effort is still required picking it up. Together we can do it. Let's take a pledge today on this 73rd Independence Day that we will make our India clean, educated, crime and corruption free. This is the way we can really build the India of our freedom fighters dream. I thank the principal, Dr. C.D. Naidugaru, the Vignan Jyoti management for giving me this wonderful opportunity. I thank the head of the department, Mechanical Engineering, and my entire faculty of Mechanical Engineering who prepared me for the outside world. They have been pillars of my strength. Their support and contribution towards my success is invaluable. You know, they have been as strict as father, as loving as mother, equally caring like a friend. We, the students of Mechanical Engineering, are indeed blessed to have such a wonderful faculty backed by HOD sir who always inspire us. Also to mention, my journey in VNR VJIT is of six years. I have a diploma in mechanical engineering from VNR VJIT. I thank VNR Polytechnic for laying such a fantastic foundation in my success. I am very proud to be a mechanical engineer. I also thank the training and placement department, the competency development center for increasing, for developing, for nurturing our skills. I would also like to thank the technicians in the laboratory who helped me in acquiring the practical knowledge. Not to forget the security personnel who make us feel inside the campus. A great hope. Thank you so much. Also, I would like to thank the housekeeping ward. Also, I am very proud of the work which is being done by VNR NSS and VNRSF. Kudos to you guys. With this, I rest my speech. Let heart of every Indian sing. Sare jahan se achcha Hindus ka hamara. Vande Matram, Jai Hind. Thank you.